So we spoke with uh, Mr. Lindbergh, okay? I don't know who that is. He's in, you know, So he's in charge of security and stuff here. Okay. okay? And he said that um, based on your guys' kind of just behavior, they would like you guys trespass from the building. Okay. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press, good to see you again. Uh, we are coming to you today from Fargo, North Dakota, and we are at the Fargo City Hall, uh, and we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with Watching a Watchman today, and uh, appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, sorry we were gone for a little bit, but uh, sometimes you got to go home and take care of business, uh, do some work, pay the bills. Um, but we are back. We are out on the road. Uh, let me give you a little view of the neighborhood here. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Monday, May 10th. It is 12.54 in the afternoon, and it is 54 degrees and sunny beautiful out here in Fargo, North Dakota. And uh, feels good to be back out on the road, guys. We missed you. We missed uh, being out here, taking care of business uh, on the road and uh, happy to be back. So uh, appreciate you joining us again. And uh, hopefully we'll get some good content here for you in North Dakota and uh, get some folks educated and uh, hopefully learn a little something ourselves while we're out here. Um, Always like to take a moment to recognize Old Glory, waving in the gentle breeze as she should. POW MIA, not forgotten, never forget. How you making out today, Watchman? What's up? Watchman's all rested and uh, refreshed, ready to go. It is absolutely beautiful out here today. It's nice. The uh, spring is in the air. Summer's coming soon. So for those of you who uh, have been following us for a while, uh, we were here uh, just about a year ago um, at the Fargo City Hall. And uh, at that time, the City Hall was closed uh, due to the uh, current situation. And... Um, we were able to go in and they did uh, let us check the place out, but there was really nobody here working. Uh, no customers coming in and out. So uh, nothing really going on, um, but they are back in business and back open today. So we'll see how it goes. Um, also, just so you guys know, uh, for those of you who uh, follow us and for those of you who don't, uh, sometimes on these audits, I do exercise my 2A and I am doing that today. Just so you're aware, uh, so that puts a little different spin on things sometimes. I uh, always like to make you guys aware of that. And let's see what kind of signage we have on the doors here. So they are at a green operations level. Members of the public are required to wear face masks at all times within the building. Visitors should wash or disinfect their hands often with soap and water or sanitizer and limit unnecessary contact by refraining from touching others and physically distancing. Uh, yep, still going on up here in North Dakota. And uh, you can see this sign here, which pertains to the inside of the building. Um, so as we always do anyway, we're going to take a little walk around the outside, check things out, see what's going on. And then uh, at some point we uh, may go inside. And if we do that, I will go put my friend back in the truck. And uh, yeah, so let's see how it goes. Stand by. Be a shot of the sign here.
warmed up a little bit. It's nice. Yeah. Not too bad. It's the staff and deliveries entrance. Probably. It's a nice building. Yeah. It's interesting. So same signage on this side. And a Fargo City Vehicles. For those of you uh, not familiar with the area here, um, the river is right on the other side of this wall that separates North Dakota and Minnesota. So that white tent looking roof over there building is in Minnesota. That's how close we are. Completely different set of laws and rules over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Good. What are you guys up to? Sorry? What are you up to? Well, I was trying to take a video. Oh, what are you taking a video of? City Hall. Oh. Okay. Can I ask who you are? Sure. Can I ask who you are? You came out and approached me, asked me what I'm doing, so I'm just asking who you are so I know who I'm speaking to. I work for the city, City of Fargo. Okay. Brock Morrison, Facilities Director. Rock Morris? Brock. Morrison. Brock Morrison. Yeah. Oh, it's a good uh, cowboy name. Yeah. yeah. Well, we just had a call asking. Uh, they said, hey, there's, there's a couple guys out here filming, and they're filming in the windows. And so I got a call to come and check on it. Just checking out your city hall. Okay. Any issues with that? No, I was just asking. Like I said, I had a phone call. so. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, no worries. See what you guys are up to. So. Yeah, just taking some video. Cool. Good. That's it. We'll come inside and see you in a little bit. Good. Alrighty. So what's on this side? So they have uh, visitor parking on this side of the building. Is it, is it that strange for people to take pictures outside of City Hall? Well, I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. If, if, yeah, I think it was the maybe the unexpected of like, 
maybe the, uh, the the camera in a window or something like that. Somebody saw. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just going. I'm just out looking, and I happen to get a phone call. So. And you got you guys are still doing the uh, mass required inside the building, or are the signs uh, just still up? What's that? I didn't know if the signs are just still up and weren't taken down yet, or you guys no, are still it's, enforcing it's still the. Up. Still doing the mass thing, huh? Uh, yeah, I think it was, ex I don't want to say extended, but um, I think it says on the green there. Oh, it's got a date on it? I don't know if it has a date or not. You might yeah. have to look at it. Yeah, I'll take a look. Uh, All right, well, pleasure meeting you, Brock. Yeah. No, there's no date. There's no date when these went up or when they come down. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. All right, well, let's keep walking around and see what else is going on. Oh, yeah, community service officer. He wasn't here before. Yeah. What is these people's issue? So here's, here's their thing, okay? So if you're taking video inside the... So if I stand here right now and I'm looking at the building, am I taking video inside the windows? And even if I am, what's the difference? Here, look. Lesson there is don't sit in a glass window and do things you don't want people on the outside to see. Oh, it's a police vehicle too. How's it going? Good. Cool vehicle you got there. Huh? You the job. It could be worse, right? At least I don't have you in one of the old Crown Vicks. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Too hard to get uh, dogs in there. I hear that. Well, you have a good day. Yep. So what do they mean? These windows? Well, when we first started filming, these windows over here, there was a bunch of people in them. And then they all, like, left, I think. Oh, did they? Yeah. There was a bunch of people in these. Well, there. she's still there. There was that lady with the blonde hair. She's still sitting uh, there. I guess they can't do So, just so you guys, let's put this whole thing into a uh, context here. So, this is a city hall, which is a public building on public property. And we are standing outside the entrance, taking video um mining our own business and uh, people are getting alarmed over that so just think about that let that sink in for a minute just think about that just look at what we're doing and uh think about the fact that what we're doing right now might be alarming people how ridiculous that is standing outside of a public building which has some very interesting architecture and artwork and uh you know that kind of photographs and things going on so uh Just want to mention it. All right, guys, so I'm going to go throw my friend back in the car here, my uh, personal protection device, and uh, we're going to head inside. So uh, we'll be right back with you. Stand by. All right, guys, got my friend stowed away in the truck safely, and uh, we're going to head inside and uh, see how these folks are doing today. So uh, stand by. Unless they locked it down. Yeah. Could be. Thank you, sir. It's warm in here. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you have the uh, city auditor. see because of the glare there you go 
Cool. Yeah, the chambers here. Yeah, they did, as a matter of fact. It's a cool building. How you doing? Hi. Right. What's up here? I don't know, you want to go all the way up and then work our way down? Third floor? Oh yeah, I remember this is real small up here. Wasn't it? Oh no. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that across the river, US Bank and the White Square building, that's Minnesota. And then this is North Dakota. Divided by the river. City commissioners. And have your uh, healthy snacks and drinks. Is that what this is? Yeah. Reservation flags? Yeah. Tribal land? Very cool. This is where we were outside speaking with Brock who had a sudden need to check the orange cone while we were here. Glare, everywhere is glare, there you go. What do they have everybody like hide? Probably locked. Oh yeah. So finance is on lockdown. Finance is shut down. Dude, somebody just came out of here and looked at us and went back in. Somebody just came out of there and looked at us and went back in. Really? Oh my same god. Time. I saw that. Yeah, at the same time. Information services. They're locked. Information services is locked too. Hey fellas. Hi, how are you? What's going on? Don't tell me you ran here. What's that? Don't tell me you ran here. No, do you have a, can you just lift up? Do you have a Absolutely. fire? Absolutely, no. Okay, all right, you guys aren't armed with anything? Nope, not okay. even a pocket knife. All right, what's going on? Well, yeah, I was when I was walking around outside. Okay, all right. But I left it in my truck before I came in. I know what the law is. Okay, yeah. perfect. What are you guys up to? Just checking out your city hall. Checking out city hall? Yeah. Okay, you guys from here? Beautiful building, no. No, where no. you guys from? Well. That's a, 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 that's a, I choose to answer some questions, some questions I may not, but I'll have the conversation with you. Okay. All right. Is there anything wrong with taking video here? I don't have a fire on so, me. So, um, no, yeah. You're sure. good. I have no, I don't even have a pocket knife on me. So we we're very, we're very well versed in the law and we are not okay, looking I'm to break it. Perfect. Yeah. Says, no yeah. firearms allowed. Yeah. No, we know that. So we spoke with. And can I just get name and badge number so I know who I'm speaking to? Officer Cordy. Right. And badge number? 612. 612. And you, sir? Yeah. Officer Marvig. It's 530. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, so we. 
So we spoke with uh, Mr. Lindbergh, okay? I don't know who that is. He's in, you know, So he's in charge of security and stuff here. Okay. okay? And he said that um, based on your guys' kind of just behavior, walking around the holster and stuff like that, is they would like you guys trespass from the building, okay? And remove from the grounds, okay? You're not facing like charges, nothing like that. They would like us trespass, for, did, I, did I violate a law? Um, so because they're, he's in charge of their security here, okay? They have the right to refuse service, okay? All right. In a public building? Even though if you guys are, if they're, if they're threat, or if they're, if your guys' behavior is deemed threatening, then they, all I'm doing is walking around with a camera. You saw what I was doing when you walked up the stairs. I'm not acting threatening. Yep, I'm being very cordial. I actually, absolutely. a guy named Brock Morrison came outside. Mm -hmm. I had a very cordial conversation with him. Okay, all right. And like nobody asked us to leave. Okay. Nobody told us we couldn't and, be and here. Yep, and so then we're we're just kind of speaking on their behalf that they would like you guys. Well, to I have an issue with that because if I'm just here lawfully. Not create. I'm not. I haven't even spoken to anybody other than Brock Morrison outside who approached us. Editor two and five. We'll take a zebra unit up on the third floor. Haven't. Uh, was that a supervisor? What's that? Is that yes, a supervisor? Sir. Okay, good. Because we haven't. Uh, I, you can tell. I know the law. We did our homework. I don't want to violate the law. We're not going in any restricted areas. Yep. We're just in publicly accessible areas checking out your building. Absolutely. So to be it, trespassed absolutely. out of the building for that is going to be an issue. Yeah, you know, and I and I and I understand your concerns with that. And like I said, is I I. Uh, you can bring that up with the with the city or write to the. No, oh, I can speak to Sarge here. How you doing, Sarge? Um, you can write oh, to no, the nothing. you can write to the city commissioners. Okay. okay. All right, as well, and voice your frustration. Well, I'm not looking to spend my life on it. I just came to. We're yep. I'm traveling. This is my son. Mm -hmm. We're traveling. Okay. So we just came to check out your city yep. hall. And like so. I said, it's one of those things where we uh, they the security guy he asked us to have you guys removed from the building due to do. Can we speak with him? Threatening behavior. I don't. Think, he doesn't sound like he wants to talk to you. Guys well, with right you now. guys okay. here, he might. All right. So. We are we are on their behalf asking you guys to please exit the building. Okay, like I said, there's no charges being. All right, can I just like continue that. the conversation for a second with the sergeant here? You might want to, you might want to get more information either. Just a quick, just from. sorry, I just want to tell you what I'm doing. I'm traveling with my son. Okay, right? we. Welcome to Fargo. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Well, well some welcome. I'm getting trespassed <laughs> out of city hall for just doing nothing wrong. Okay. Well, um, I know the laws. I left my friend here in the vehicle. I'm not looking to violate any laws. Okay. We're not. Uh, harassing anybody. I haven't even spoken to anybody except for Brock Morrison, who approached us outside. We had a very cordial conversation with him. Okay. There's been no issues. Okay. And we haven't harassed anybody, alarmed anybody, spoken to anybody. We're just in the public areas of the building, taking video of publicly visible things. I'm not looking to go in any restricted areas. Can I ask how you got in the building? Because Right through the front door. The doors are usually locked. There's, a, there's an open one. I got there. I walked right through there. Okay, the that's the reason I'm saying is the doors are usually locked, so that's why I was... Well, but the building is open to the public oh. at this point, right? I think you have to make appointments. Yeah, to see people and stuff like that right now. Well, I'm not looking to see anybody, and I read your sign. I'm, I can tell you that we did very, very, very uh, in-depth homework on rules, regulations, laws, statutes, codes, everything in your city before we came here to take video here. Okay, and, and that's fine. What I'm saying is that normally the building is locked. And I don't know if they just forgot to lock a door. Well, I don't think so. You've lowered down to a level green. So it's generally that they have to buzz in or talk with somebody as you at the front well, door. Well, I'm not, I'm not looking to talk to anybody. I'm not looking and, to... And that's fine. I'm just telling you, explain why we're kind of asking how you got in. Right, right. No, no, I get that. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Sure. anything wrong. And, but I mean, I don't want to be thrown out of a public building for doing nothing wrong. I'm traveling with my son. That's really... You welcomed me to Fargo. That's really not a nice welcome to Fargo. Well, the thing is, is and again, and and and, and let me it, just just to finish that statement. Go ahead, sir. The, whoever's in charge of security here, the mayor, the governor, nobody can ask me to leave or order me to leave private uh, public property, unless I've committed a crime or unless I'm disturbing somebody and creating a problem or, or creating an issue. If it's not supposed to be open, then they can also. No, well, the building is open. I checked. The building's open to the public. It was not open ten months ago, last time we were here, and that's why we came back. But I drove being, all the way back here. I, being open to the public, it may have meant that you buzz in or talk to say who you're talking to. Well, so they're, they're the front, the no. The door is open, but I don't know if it's supposed to. It is supposed to be. I did my homework. I can promise you it is. Okay, all right. And that's why even, I'll tell you why I'm not wearing a face mask. I'm not wearing a face mask because your mayor, Mahoney, signed an executive order in October of last year okay. saying a paragraph I of that executive order in the exemption says that if you're broadcasting or doing that kind of a thing, you don't have to have a mask on. So that's why I don't have a mask on. So, and, and so we're really trying to follow your rules and regulations and here. I, like I said, there's nothing. Um, so 
How are we going to resolve it? What would you like to do? I just want to walk around the rest of the building, and then I'm going to leave and be out of your hair, and you'll probably never see me again. Mind if we just, I have one of my officers walk with you, and that's it, not the hassle. That's anybody. up to you. You can have all your officers you cool walk with, with you. I like I said, are you cool with that? I have right. absolutely no issue. Anybody else can do whatever they want to do. Okay. I have no issue with that. All right. Sure. All right. We have no nefarious intent, no ill will. We're not looking to bother anybody. Yeah. We're not looking, you know, I'm just here to take a video. So, and you are right. I mean, in the public sector that you have the right to be able to video and stuff like that. Okay. And, and, and that's fine. But my concern, again, because I don't, I heard what you said, but I haven't been able to talk to anybody or find out. Exactly right, no, I appreciate that. It's supposed to be locked because if it was, because that's why they have that system out there where it's got a camera so you'll be able to buzz and be able to talk yeah i know and, and when they were going through the whole covid protocol thing it was like that we were here 10 months ago and they actually were nice enough to let us in even at that time and let us do a little quick tour of the building but there was nobody here there was nothing going on it was a very boring video so we came back and just checking See, it out again more excitement this time well, a little bit yeah yeah no but you're being very cordial and professional i appreciate that well, you haven't done anything wrong and there's no reason to be anything other than that right i appreciate that and i just you know it's it's very and I'm going to tell you what we're doing here since you're being that way. Part of what okay. we're doing is, okay, what we do is, again, this is my son. I don't know if you heard me say that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what we do is we travel the country. We've been doing this for almost two years, okay? And what we do is we defend our Constitution, okay? okay? So what this is is a First Amendment audit. Okay. You're probably aware of that, yeah. right? Yeah. So what we do is now there's a lot of First Amendment auditors out there who go out and try to rile people up and instigate and drive people nuts and get into situations and file lawsuits and do that kind of thing. That's not us. We're a whole different okay. ball of wax. I'm trying to have these conversations with law enforcement, with security people, with the people that work at city halls and you know, make the wheels turn, the people that have the feet on the ground here. Yeah. And that's what we try to do. We try to be productive. We try to educate ourselves, educate the people that we speak to. We have a couple of people that watch our videos uh, that really appreciate what we do and support what we do. And, uh, you know, again, there's, there's very good police officers out there, and we support you guys, and we support the very good police Thank officers you. in this country. Uh, but just like there's bad video guys, there's bad cops too. So yep. you never know yep. who you're going to run into. Yep. I don't know who I'm going to run into just like you don't, right. right? But I think we've kind of figured out that we're both on the right side of the thing here. So, and, and I thank you for that because you're absolutely correct and I very much appreciate the conversation that we're having. Absolutely, that's, that's it what be. it's all about for us. And so, with our deal, and as we talked, clearly, it is a public building. Right. You have the right to be in the public area, and right. stuff like that, to be able to do that. Right. The reason that some of us have our deal is basically we are still... Well, you're uh, a city employee. With that, we're supposed to be still wearing our, our face masks. I got it, sure, so absolutely. So that's the only reason I'm not trying to hide my... No, not at all. And you know what? I'm the kind of guy, as long as you're not creating a victim out of anybody, I'm not really interested in what you're doing. Well, I appreciate that. You know, like I don't I really said, worry about what people are doing. Like I, said, I want you to explain that it's not a deal of, oh, you've got a camera. I want to hide my, my face. Oh, no, I don't think that at all. No, no, no. So, all right. No, not at all. And we are aware that even though we are exempt from wearing the mask, we do need to social distance. So we're, you know, we're not getting near right. anybody. We're, not, we're really trying to follow the rules and just so take some video you, here. And again, you don't have to answer this, but what part of the country are you guys from? Colorado. Okay. All right. Yeah. And I generally don't answer those types of questions, but you've earned it. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, and you know what, you guys, you guys are just trying to do your jobs. And you know, a lot of times a sergeant will show up or a higher up or a lieutenant or somebody will show up and that kind of like fixes everything. You know what I mean? Just because you have the experience. So as far as the education aspect of this goes, you guys are young. And hopefully this is a learning experience for these two guys. Um, I know I'm learning something out here every day. The older I get, the more I realize I don't know a damn thing. Okay. You know, <laughs> so it's all about learning. And I always like to say that I don't have to understand and appreciate everything that you do, and you don't have to understand and appreciate everything that I do, but as men, we can find that middle ground, we can have the conversation, we can shake hands and walk away better people at the end the of the day. The thing is, we show, we've shown each other respect. That's, that's exactly respect. what it is, and respect gets respect, always in my book, yeah, for yeah. sure. And, uh, you, and these officers have been very cordial. Oh, no, thank and, you. Uh, I, no, I won't shake your hand, but how about a fist bump? You can shake my hand, that's, fist bump, whatever. Welcome, welcome to Fargo. Thank you, sir. And so, again, appreciate you. If I could just have just... Just walk, like you said, they have... If you feel right. like I need a babysitter, I'm more than welcome to have a babysitter. They have every right to be able to do that and stuff like that, but like I said, just the only reason I'm doing it is it'll appease a number of people that are... See, and he's a smart guy because like I said, I'm not that... I've only sued one person in my entire life. I'm 51 years old. But there are guys out there that go out and do these kind of things looking to sue people, right? So if you guys had thrown us out of the building without re lawful reason, one of those guys might file a lawsuit against the city of Fargo and then you're going to be in a mess. That, I'm not going to do that. No. 
and you're not going to throw me out either. No, so, but you know, this is so hopefully, the, and I really want you guys to understand. I'm not trying to come across like I know any better than you do. You know a lot of things better than I do, right? So we all know we all know what we know. So, but if we have conversations, then we can share that knowledge. We can all understand what's going on, and we can all be on the same page. And there's you know, no harm, no foul. So, well, right? Sounds good. Well. Well, I do mean, welcome to Fargo. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It was Sergeant... Kevin Volrath. Volrath. Yep. Thank you, sir. I appreciate so, that. I hope you do enjoy And my name's time. Jason. Okay. Nice, nice to meet you, Jason. Ben. Ben. Okay. Nice and again, you. I do mean, welcome to Fargo. And I appreciate it. You know what? And it just as a father and son, apart from the whole First Amendment auditing thing, I appreciate it going this way, because we're also making memories and just enjoying our lives together, and that's, you know, part of what we do. Well, and, and like I said, we, we've got a great city here, and there's a lot of amenities that are out there, and hopefully you have an opportunity to enjoy something. Yeah, we just got here yesterday, so we're going to definitely check it out. Let's yeah, we, you might run into us again. Plus, Jason, <laughs> yes, sir. You know, like you said, that we might run into you guys again. Do you care if we just get your last name, just so that we spoke with you guys, we talked to you? You know what? I have absolutely no issue giving you all of my information, but I'm not going to, only because what I'm doing is a First Amendment audit, and that's, a, that's my Fourth Amendment right to be okay. secure my my information, you know? So now I, I don't want, I would- and I the, the, Jason and Ben. The I person inside of me would love to just give you my name and everything, but because I'm doing this, it kind of, I hope you understand. So, but you'll, you'll find, you, do this, wait a day or two, just go on YouTube, right? And just type in Fargo City Hall and you'll see the video. Okay. So and, and then you'll know exactly who I am. They're gonna walk, they wanna walk around a little bit. They can, they have every- You got, you guys just say, you guys mind just holding up one second real quick while I talk to my sergeant quick? Real quick. You're gonna try to talk him out of being a nice guy. <laughs> well, yeah. are you are you the babysitter? You want to take a walk? But yeah. Well, I don't know. It's like, so I just spent two and a half years as a park officer. The park district here has a specific ordinance about trespassing. Okay. And so they have it all laid out in ordinance exactly how you can get trespassed and all those things. And it doesn't. Their ordinance doesn't say it has to be a law violation to get trespassed from park. It can even be their rules. That's a different situation. Yeah, though. different. Yeah. But yeah, and so in this and in this situation, I would have to violate the law for you to trespass yeah, me for public. Right, protection. Whether it's right. loitering, yeah. causing yeah. a disturbance, whatever, harassment, whatever it is, anything yeah. that violates the law, that would give you the right to have me, yeah, taken out of the building. Of, but barring any unlawful activity, there yeah, really no, is we, nothing. I appreciate it. So yeah. like I guess we uh, pass something along from him or whatever. So okay. No, and I appreciate you, man. I really do. And I, I just want to say, just before I answer that question, I just want you guys to know, I really hope you understand. I don't know if you guys were in the military or not, but I want you to understand that what we're doing is we're out here protecting our rights, your rights, and everybody else's rights, because in my humble opinion, our Constitution is taking a proverbial ass kick in these days, and I'm not very happy about it. So I have a long history in video as a career, so that's why we chose this as our way to exercise our rights. It's an exercise of rights, that's all it is. Do you mind me asking, do you plan on being out in parks and stuff all open carrying, down Broadway and stuff? Places I do not plan to be in parks open carrying because it's illegal. Not in North Dakota. It's not? No? Not to my knowledge. You're allowed to open carry in a park. I can tell you right so now. So government, government? All right, I could be wrong. See, and I'll learn something I here say, today. I think you can open carry other than being in government buildings. Okay. So like the, there's a debate, so like a structure, like Island Park has a gazebo, like an open wall. So, so you're not, oh, I'm sorry, to cut in. So you guys are, don't have North Dakota driver's license, I'm assuming, right? You're no, not valid North Dakota. I do not have a North Dakota okay, driver's so, license, huh? So obviously North Dakota is a constitutional carry state. Only for residents. Okay, so yeah, if, the, if you don't, do you guys have CWLs? Well, I do, yes. Do you have a concealed weapons license? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I don't know, do we have, do you have a reciprocity in North Dakota? I'd have to look. Yes, I do. Does. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so if you're a concealed weapons holder, okay, um, and it's valid, you're still valid? Yes, it is. Okay, so you're allowed to carry public streets, public sidewalks, public boulevards, private businesses that they allow you to, obviously, right. um, in your vehicle can be loaded in a church with permission. You're not allowed to carry at athletic sporting events, schools, churches without permission, publicly owned slash operated buildings, liquor establishments, and gaming sites. So the public parks thing. And bars, I believe, right? Well, what is, yep. isn't yep. our open carry law doesn't even exactly. make Liquor establishments, okay. We consider those a, gotcha. a bar okay. kind of thing. Yep, exactly. So then if you if you don't have a constitutional carry or your thing, you have to have a valid North Dakota. And the way I understand it is the only way you can constitutional carry is if you're a resident and you've lived here for yeah. a year. Correct, yep, you have right. to have a valid. Which is gonna change on August 21st, it's gonna go to 30 days. Yep, so that's oh, really? up in the legislature yeah. and everything like yeah. that. And so like I said, our laws change or whatever and stuff like that. So that's just It is you know what, you guys we travel around the country. We've been in thirty two states, I believe. And it is the the laws here are a little yes. 
Well, they, and when they added the constitutional carry stuff, it got all everything got convoluted, right? I'm sure, yeah. yeah. But yeah. so that was all concealed carry stuff because there's also an open carry law in North Dakota. That's right. your constitutional carry, is your open carry laws or whatever. So well, you can, is, if you're a valid North Dakota resident, right, and you have a, you don't have a concealed weapons license or whatever, right, you can have a handgun attached to your hip and walk down the street. Yes. If you have a valid. North and Dakota my license. understanding is that it's through parks as well, yep. just and not into you, a park building because it's a government building. And what's the other thing? Like if you don't have the license, then it's like unloaded an hour yeah, before sunrise. Yeah, like that's sunrise. That's yeah. Because yeah, exactly like last like summer that. when I was in parks, we ended up with like this guy who was just that's what he does. Is he open carries, and he wasn't doing it as like a statement. He just does it. Okay. Um, but guess what? Then you get called on him like three times, right? right? Because other people in the park that makes them feel uncomfortable, even if it's not illegal, doesn't stop. And then you could get into alarming people and all yeah, kinds of yeah, other yeah, nonsense. And, right, right. So, um, but so that was my point. Was like at that point when I rolled up on him the second time, I'm like, oh hey, and then I went on with my day, right? Because I know that he is legit. I know that he is. Right. I know that he's not out. He's just out enjoying a day in a park. Right, right. Same well, thing. I have, if, the, I, if we knew you were going to be on Broadway all of today and tomorrow, and you're going to be at the parks and stuff, like, then we could. Maybe right. send something out being like, hey, just so you know, these guys are around, they're doing their thing. John, then are you guys planning on staying in Fargo tonight and going to the, me or, the meeting? Or, what meeting? I'm wondering if any like meetings in town or anything like that. We're just wondering if you guys are planning, just so we can give them ads up or whatever if you guys are there. So if you are. I don't even know of any meetings. Okay, no. that's what we Why, well, is there a meeting I should know about? You said, no, you, said, just, you, said the the you said the meeting. You said the meeting. No, like so You got to be careful around me. John. Yeah. I don't feel like you guys are going to any meetings or anything like that. Like if you're No, but I'm going to find out where there is one yeah. now. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. I, no, I'm I not going to I'm not meetings. no. Fair enough. I'm just poking yeah, you a little bit. Yeah. No worries. But uh yeah, no, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. And just did you let them know that Yeah, it, it, we're fine. With the mayor and stuff like that. No, the concern that's why I went and just spoke and stuff like that. Oh, the mayor's here. Yep. Oh, maybe we can say hello to the mayor. So I was just wondering uh, what was going on and stuff. What? No, he's in a meeting. That's why he just stuck oh, his head out. Well, back. that's the meeting I want to go to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew him. Yeah. So, but one of the things, and again, and you've been doing this for a while, I'm assuming, and stuff like that. that yes, sir. We, we get the calls right away because it's people see cameras and they're like, uh-oh, oh, what's going on and stuff like that. And you know what? That's very location-specific. Because in some states and in some cities and some places, you, nobody you can be open carrying with cameras and a pink tutu on and ride a really? purple bicycle and nobody cares what you're doing. We're a little conservative here yeah. in Fargo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and you're very close to Minnesota. Yeah, yes, yes. Enough said on that. <laughs> All right, thank All right well, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much. We, we, we won't hold your, uh, your folks up here too long. We're just going to, we did the third floor. We'll go down the second floor, look around. All right. And we'll be out of there here. Thanks again, guys. You bet. Take care. Thank and you. Take travels back to Colorado. Thanks. Thank you very much. Oh, we got more guys down here. I bet we've crossed paths. Well, depending on where you got that sweatshirt, I'm guessing we crossed paths before. Oh, Sturgis? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we actually got it in Sturgis. Oh. Yeah. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what else we got going on here. Are all the offices locked? Yeah, I think they did lock the building down, guys. But uh, as you can see, no babysitter and uh, no thrown out of the building. Well, how are you? Good. Good. So we're just doing a little tour of the building. Yeah, I don't know. Can we, are we able to come in and just take a look at your office real quick and then sure. leave? Great, thank you. I don't know what the to start. Appreciate that. Thank you. My name is Jason. Okay. And can I ask your first name? Jen. Jen, nice to meet you, Jen. So this is the engineering office. Do you guys, is this like permitting or what? what does engineering exactly do? Working on the streets. Well, oh, okay, I guess so kind of like public works. The projects um, that we bid out. Gotcha, okay. 
for street lights, water main projects. Okay, very cool. Very cool. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for letting us in and answering the question for us. Have a great day, Jay. We appreciate you. Well, see, that's a normal person. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all that is. That's how that should go. I mean, we should be able to walk into an office, ask a question, and leave. See if the assessors is open. Nope. Yeah. They are closed. Hello. Oh, she's actually coming around to the door. Wow. They sent out the memo already. They probably did. They probably just sent out a memo saying, we're going to get sued, guys. <laughs> Let them in. Hi, how are you? Hi, Scott, how are you doing? Good. Is it okay if we just take a look at your office real quick? Absolutely. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah. My name's Jason, by the way. I'm Maddie. Maddie, nice to meet you. Do you guys need to come through here as well? No, no, we don't want to go in any oh. restricted areas. We're just looking at the... Publicly accessible stuff, thank you. Yep. It's a beautiful building to work in. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's been nice, that's for sure. Have you been here for a while? Uh, two years. Two years, very cool. Yeah. yeah. yeah we were here 10 months ago and the whole place was locked down and yeah, not, 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 we're not much going on. opening back up, so it's nice. Well, good. I hope the smiles are slowly coming back yeah, too. Exactly right. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate you. Yeah, have, a good have a good day. Yeah, they definitely just broadcast a call out. <laughs> she was going to invite us back into the restricted know, yeah, area. We went from you're getting thrown out to inviting us into the restricted area. And on an invitation, Fine. we probably could have gone in, but I am not even interested. Yeah. <laughs> Human resources is locked. Planning and development is locked. Everyone left. Yeah. Hello. I don't. How are you? I need to grab a form. Are these people for real? Sketchy place you got going on here. You can just walk right in this door. The door's locked. Unless you just opened it. The door's locked. I just want to see what- That's, that's what, because sketchy people are wandering around here with- Do I look sketchy? Camera. No, the cameras. Oh, the camera looks good? Administration good? locked the door. Well, the mayor's already given us permission to be here doing what we're doing. No, you. I'm not saying you can't. Oh, I'm okay. saying that why, that's why it's locked. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah. So what, oh, so they went to like some kind of red alert status? Yeah. Over two guys with cameras? Isn't that silly? No. You don't think that's silly? No, we've had this no. happen before. And they, well, do it, they do it automatically. It doesn't, there's no questions asked. What do you mean? If anybody shows up with a camera, they lock the place down? Do they know it's a camera? Come on. You just told me that they were nervous because two guys are walking around with cameras. You want to talk to them? What else would you think that, that is? What do you mean? What else could that possibly be? I'm not trying to secret myself. I'm not going to get into an argument. All right, so I'm just going to look at your forms here. That, that might not be the only thing you have, you know? Come on. Might not be the only thing you have. I can tell you a very interesting like story. Like I said, I don't want to get in an argument. No, no, I'm not looking to argue with you. I'm just having no, a question. You, you are. You are. No, not at all. There was actually a gentleman that worked at a bank for 43 years, and on his last day, he used to go put his briefcase in the vault every day when he got to work. His last day of work, he was 79 years old, walked into the vault, picked up his briefcase, left. Nobody ever saw him again. He put $4 million in his briefcase after 43 years of working at the bank. So you never know who's who. But I think the guy you got to worry about is probably not going to be as obvious as I am. I'm trying to be very obvious and not secret myself and just check out your city hall. That's all. But if that's concerning, I get it. That's We're okay. worried about city hall, not the banks. Gotcha.
That's what I was looking for right there. And, uh, I'm also All right, cool. Well, I'm sorry we alarmed you. We did. Not, not my intention. These days, everybody's walking around with a camera. Huh? Everywhere. Nobody you... walks around with a camera like you guys. Nobody well, does. But, um, what I'm saying there's, is, every... there's many people in our office every day. Nobody does that. Everybody has cameras. Every... You're on camera when you go to the gas station, when you go to Walmart, when you go to the supermarket. I'm not going to argue with you about that. We're on camera here. I don't know how many cameras we're on. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, you know, just is what it is. That's the day and age we live in. Nobody when, does that. When you and I were younger and people used to do this, people would jump in front of the camera and say, hi, mom. Now everybody gets scared uh -huh. instead. I like the, uh -huh. there you go. I like that much better. Yeah, nobody does what you're doing. I'm telling you right now. Oh, plenty of people do what I'm doing. None. They do. No. Sure, they do. We get many people in every day. None have done that. Well, maybe that you've never seen. There have been people here before. I could ask anybody in our office. None have done it. Well, I was just speaking to administration and the police here, and they told me that there were, have people have been here taking video before. Well, I'm talking about our office. Well, hopefully, maybe because we were here, maybe next time you'll give the next guys a shot and you won't get nervous right away because somebody has a camera. It wasn't me that got nervous. Okay. Or whoever got nervous. I don't want to see anybody get nervous. There's no reason to be nervous. Some guys are no, just walking... No, you, you did it on purpose. You no. made everybody nervous on purpose. No, not at all. But by taking video? Not at all, sir. I have to disagree with you. I'm not trying to make anybody nervous at all. Yeah, you are. If I was trying to make you nervous, I would have been very... Avoiding Guess your what? questions, I wouldn't I speak. am nervous now. You are? Yes. Well, I'm going to leave so you don't have to be nervous and you can get back to work and feel more secure and better about yourself. I don't want to make you nervous. Thank so, you. You have a good day. Living in fear is a terrible thing, just a suggestion. I would take that personally if I were you. You would take it personally yeah, if you were Yeah, because I wouldn't want to make people feel in fear. I'm not trying to make anybody feel like That's why I'm having a cordial, cordial conversation. If I want to make you fear, I could, I could do things yeah, to make you afraid. You're, you're cordial. Yeah, I am. Come on, Bill. Well, you have a good day. Enjoy that fear. <laughs> God, somebody's like to say, is somebody, somebody riding a purple bicycle with a pink tutu on down the sidewalk is unusual. But is it illegal? Is there anything wrong no, with it? No, and I want to be very clear. Right? Yeah, right. Right. No, not you. Yeah, right. It's not illegal. Right. That's why I keep... And then what I would do is like, you know, if somebody is nervous and I start a conversation with them, you see how I am and how I conduct myself, right? So we started having a conversation and you right away started feeling better about the situation, realized what was going on. I was very forthright with you. Yep. And that quelled the situation. Why that doesn't work for everybody, I'll never understand. Some I think some people just want to be in fear yeah, and be upset. But one of the things is, is that I think that and you're right. I've been doing education because it was like, well, can they come out of the hallway? And I was like, if a normal Joe Will citizen can walk into that area, you have every right to be able to walk in that area. Yes, sir. If so, if if you like, for example, you come behind a desk, that area is secure. You have no right or access. Unless to, I was invited. Right. Back right. There, right. To right. be able to go back. There. Exactly. But yes. if you jump the jump the counter or something like that, there's a problem. Yeah, that might upset you too. Yeah. But we appreciate you again, sir. Thank you very much. You have a good day. Thank you. Is that look one of those looks that uh, I was giving you? Looking for yeah, a problem? Yeah, same as your look. Yeah, yeah is that it? Yeah. Well, I hope you're not too high up of a position here because you're probably not a leader. But that's okay. We need followers. So keep up the good work. You're not going to get me with that. I'm not trying to get you. Life's already gotten you, my friend. You're here. Yeah. All right, guys, my battery's dying. I gotta hurry up and make this quick, end this video. Uh, you saw what went on here. There's four cop cars in the parking lot. They're still here. Um, I mean, just ridiculousness, but at least the sergeant showed up. We were able to clear up everything with him, and he uh, honored our rights and respected our rights and educated his officers, and he's going around the building educating everybody in the building, including the mayor. Uh, so I think this was a very fruitful visit. And we are gonna come back here eventually one day and uh, hope it's stuck and uh, hope things are going that way. We'll find out, there will be a follow-up. 
Uh, but again, my battery's about to die. I'm gonna cut out. Always like to remind you, if you enjoy our videos, you appreciate what we do, we invite you to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff helps our channels out tremendously and doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, so that's it. We're gonna hop in the truck, head down the road, see what else we could find for you here in Fargo. So coming to you from the city hall here in Fargo, watching a watchman, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.